Back to the Awakening Wood. Doodle -doo -doom, doodle -doo -doom, doom. Our bud Pikmin are still waiting for us. What buds? 20% of the debt recovered. So we got 10% and 20% in the same day. We might even get 30% depending on how things play out. Because I'm, I'm going to try to play fast. Why are there only 92 Pikmin here now? There were definitely 95 before I entered the cave. Why are there only 92 now? I'm not crazy, am I? Like, there were... Did some of the purple Pikmin, like, go in here? No? Um... I don't like that. I definitely had 95 Pikmin here before I entered the cave. There are five Pikmin... Yeah, those five Pikmin are not part of this. Is there a way to see if anybody has died? Because if people die, then that's not going to be good. Alright, Omar, you can stay there. I'm going to bring the purples, and we're going to do some scouting. Oh, look, a paper bag! Perfect obstacle for the purples. Oh, the ball! Cool, so they're off to carry the berries. Good for them. Alright, this... That's another way to get rid of this guy. Oh, okay, that's water. And then that's the next cave we're going towards. Okay, the berries haven't regrown yet. The berries regrow pretty quickly, so... Want to stay on it? I like how there's the little flag outside of the hole when you've uh, cleared it completely. There's poison gates over there, so we can't do anything with that. All right, I think then we can go immediately to the next uh, cave, can't we? Joink! We'll go in with 95 Pikmin. We might need them. Some caves you don't want to go into with the highest amount of Pikmin possible. More on that later. <laughs> oh, hey! The berries regrew! And they regrew on this side, too. Well, we get, again, we got time, so... Distractions. Hey, hey. It's all just a matter of figuring out what's most important in life. What's funny is I'm going to be that guy who's like, I don't, I don't want to use my ultra spicy spray. What if I need it later? Even though, like, <laughs> a lot of people are just like, I use spicy spray basically all the time. I use spicy spray just to carry stuff back faster. I'm like, well, I mean, I guess if you're going for a low day playthrough, then that's fine. There we go. Okay, we have four spicy sprays. We're good for a while. That's, that is me. Farm 20 of them never... I use them in the later dungeons, where you really do want them in order to take out some of those nastier enemies. Although I like the other spray type better. Alright, here we go. Astounding! My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press start or pause to contact me and press R on the radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louie and the Pikmin, to safety. 
Hey, Proxima, welcome! Nice to see ya! The total Pikmin count before you entered the hole with Beast was on 102, and it was still 102 when you came out, so no one died. No one died, yeah, but it was weird because there were 95 Pikmin in the field. And five, there are technically 105 of the Pikmin are wild that are in a different area, and the rest were buried in the ground, but then when I came out of the hole, it said that there were only 92 Pikmin in the field. So, like, maybe some Pikmin entered the Onion? I'd, I still don't really know, but anyhow, we're going to the White Flower Garden. There are fire hazards and poison hazards. We don't have anything to handle the poison hazards yet, but we'll get something for them in this dungeon. So, there we go. White Flower Garden, sub-level 1. Alright. So, the first dungeon was kind of like a snow cavern. The second dungeon was just like a dirt cavern. And then this one, well... Looks like there's a lot of rusty parts around. Oh boy, shear grubs. Those are easy. Carry them back. Sell them. Give me money. No tripping. You're a flower Pikmin. You ain't supposed to trip. Okay, this is a lot of enemies. But we got a large enough group that it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sakurai didn't invent tripping. He just perfected it. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Carry it back, my men. We're eating good tonight. That's a weird background. Like I said, the graphics of this game are definitely GameCube quality, but they still feel realistic and very good. Kiwi Shoe Polis. Shoe Polis? Polish. Alien Billboard. What? <laughs> That's a weird one on me, but uh, alright, sure. Shoe Polish is a billboard for aliens. There we go. Treasure gauge deactivated, so we can go to the next floor. Oh man, it saves so fast. White Flower Garden, sub-level 2. More rust. This isn't much of a flower garden. It's just a lot of metal. Is that a diamond in the center of... Sure seems like a diamond. <laughs> I've been looking for a diamond in the rough. <laughs> and another, it's another soda pop bottle can uh pop. Cap. I know how to talk. It's Dr. Pepper! A hundred Pocos, the drought ender. It's true, many f the most famous droughts throughout history have been ended by the inclusion of Dr. Pepper. Alright, it's a fiery blowhog who will blow fire on us if we aren't careful. And he can also throw us off a cliff if we're not careful. So let's just be careful and stun him. Brrr. Get out of here! And there's another one over here. Let's take him out before we grab the other treasure. Let's try to make sure he isn't facing a cliff. So that way, if he throws us off, he isn't going to throw us off a cliff. Because if Pikmin fall off a cliff, naturally, they die. Shockingly realistic, I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this was before flying Pikmin were a thing, so... Oh, okay, it's not quite a diamond. It's, it's a ruby. A heart-shaped ruby. Alright, you go, little guys. Ah, it's still the easy part of the game, so we can relax, put up our feet, and listen to some nice tunes. <laughs> Before the world goes to hell. <laughs> Heart-shaped red rock. The petrified heart. Yes, that is what human hearts look like. <laughs> what happens when you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens when your girl dumps you. Delve deeper with the Pikmin.
All right, the White Flower Garden sub-level three. More rust. Who are we gonna call Rust Busters? Do 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 do. Oh boy! Here's the next type of flower. And naturally where they get the namesakes from. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious, especially since it's blooming in rust. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be tossed into the flower. Cool. Well, we don't want to toss any purple Pikmin in there, so... Separate the wheat from the chaff. Red Pikmin, you come in with me. There we go, and now we get white Pikmin, who are also very good. But in a very different way than uh, purple Pikmin are in. It's Voldemort. They look so cute. Incredible, a white Pikmin. It is tiny, but it looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Our data rec record on this type is a blank page since a certain captain never documented them. You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. So white Pikmin are basically the polar opposite of uh, purple Pikmin. Purple Pikmin are like really slow but really strong. White Pikmin are very weak but they're very fast. Which makes them ideal for carrying treasure back. They are also poison resistant and they are poisonous themselves. So if enemies eat them, uh, enemies will take a lot of damage and sometimes instantly die. That does not apply to us though because we're not allowed to kill them. Oh, and the other thing is, well, you're about to see for yourself. Oh ho! Give me that. Hold on, those two white Pikmin drank up the entire nectar all by themselves. Yeah, wrist right here. Amazing, the white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allow them to sense objects buried in the dirt. Yep, they can see underground as well, and they can find hidden treasures. Oh yeah! Boom! Shakalaka! Now one thing I'm not sure, if you've got like red, so... Oh, cool, more nectar. White Pikmin are the fastest. If you have white Pikmin and purple Pikmin on the same thing, will it not be able to go any faster than what a purple Pikmin will allow? Or will it actually genuinely increase speed if there's enough white Pikmin on there? That I'm not too sure, but this is moving pretty fast, so I would assume that the white Pikmin are making it move faster and it's not the purple Pikmin are just dragging it down. Louie wants to be left alone. Oh boy, Gamma Tape! You don't see that very much. 80 Pocos, the super stick textile. Mmm, Gamma Tape. Here we go. Off to the next hole. White Flower Garden, sub-level 4. I must say, I'm a bit nervous about the boss of this uh, dungeon. The boss can be quite nasty. Alright, so now we have to deal with some of these poison uh, hazards. So once again, White Pikmin are poison resistant. 
All Maramui are also poison immune because of their spacesuits. Oh, hey. So for this, we're going to have to walk up the ramp. Ooh, Pikmin almost fell off. Come on, just dig it up already. I could have put more. I, I don't even just need the white Pikmin to do that, but there we go. Oh my god, yeah, look at how fast the white Pikmin are carrying that back. Like, good lord. That's so freaking fast. <laughs> That is not the color mushroom that you want to eat. Toxic toadstool. Yep, in case you didn't know. <laughs> not for eating. And there's still another fiend here somewhere. Hooey! It's gonna be grand. It's probably something buried underground. Oh, never mind. It's just hanging out here. <laughs> I'm like, it's probably hidden underground. No, it's just in an alcove that you didn't explore, you dummy. Not a whole lot of enemies in this dungeon, but there are quite a few hazards. It's Chapstick! Everyone's favorite, the survival ointment. You know what? When you're talking about Michigan in the winter, you are not wrong. That really is the survival ointment when it's all this dry and cold air around. I agree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> Alright. Delve even deeper. Okay, I think this is the boss floor, and I'm, I'm a little worried, because I'm not entirely sure of how to do this boss optimally. White Flower Garden, sub-level 5. Escaped the power of the rust, and now we are firmly... Yep. Final floor! Okay. Wonderful. It's gonna be tough. We got dirt, and we got twigs around. And a lot of eggs. I will deal with the eggs later. So this is the boss. It's the burrowing snagret. And, uh, yeah. You might know him from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He's not nice. He can eat your Pikmin very easily, so I think the only real safe strategy is occasionally when he pops up, he'll get stuck in the dirt, and when he does that, swarm his face, and then it'll cause him to go back underground. But if he does that, well, we need to run away. Because he can peck our guys and deal a lot of damage. And if we throw them just on his face... Uh, yeah, if we throw them on his face, he can potentially, like, fling them off and eat them, so... We really want to make sure he gets stuck in the ground. Oh, okay, darn it. That was it. That was where we should have attacked him. Because you can see how much longer it took him to get up. And if we put, like, all the Pikmin on his face, then he won't really be able to shake him off, so he'll have to go back underground. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no! No. Yeah, this guy is... Like, again, casually, if you don't care about losing Pikmin, he's very easy. But if you want to save everybody, man, is he difficult. 
Also, fun fact, he becomes a common enemy later on in the game. So, yeah. Have fun with that. Problem is, you get, like, no time, really, to figure out if he's getting stuck or not. So, yep. Fun, 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 till the <laughs> burrowing snaggerit eats your Pikmin away. Alright, this is why I don't bother with the eggs until afterwards, because I'm probably going to have to reset this fight a lot. <laughs> Keep tossing- okay, there we go. Oh no, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Everybody get in a group, everyone get in a group, everyone move away. Everyone move away. You moron! Stop getting next to him! Okay, that's the key. Swarm his face when he gets stuck and then toss as many on his head as possible. He won't be able to shake them off, so he'll have to go back underground. Okay, that's not good. Nope. Come on, come on. No! Dog on it. The hardest part is figuring out if he actually is stuck or not. Because it takes a second for you to figure that out, and... If you wait if you wait the full second, then you don't really get enough time to actually latch onto his head. And if you don't wait the second, and he doesn't get stuck, then you're also dead. Seems like a little bit of a coin flip battle. But I'm probably, I'm probably just doing it wrong. Better figure out how to do it right. <laughs> because again, he becomes a common enemy later on. <laughs> Dasmit Bra, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Just in time for the pain train and the reset heavy part of this playthrough. <laughs> or one of the reset heavy parts of the playthrough. Okay. Munch, munch. Like, you can swarm his reptilian body, but that's not going to deal nearly enough damage. And then you, he, they're just perfectly sitting ducks for him to peck them and eat them. Okay, here we go. What? You are not- what the heck? You're supposed to fling them off! Did I whistle them off, like, just barely too early? I whistled them off because I didn't want him to send them flying everywhere and make them lose their flowers. Okay, that's a mistake. Do, just let him do it. It takes him enough time for him to go back up. You're going to lose some flowers. That's okay. It's better than losing your Pikmin. Man, yeah, this is only the second boss of the game. And he's giving me this much trouble, so oh boy. This is not going to be fun. I guess I could use a spicy spray, but... But what if I need them later? <laughs> Even though I can grind them infinitely if I want. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. Nope. Oh, that's not good. Nope. Dog! Darn it! Ugh! He's so unpredictable! If he just pops up and immediately pecks, like, what can you do? This is where, this is where Pikmin 2 get. No, this is actually not where Pikmin 2 gets really annoying. This is still definitely the easy part of the game. Not even a question. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use the spicy spray. I actually don't think the spicy spray will probably make that much of a difference at all. But you never know. And I have four of them, and they're pretty easy to get, so... There we go. Astounding! The heads of the Pikmin are glowing, and they seem extremely agitated. The Ultra Spicy Spray appears to increase Pikmin speed and attack power. What a discovery.
Oh my gosh, like, that almost just killed him in flat out. Goodbye, Snagret. Okay, there we go. That's the key. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Take that. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> the bum rush. Well done, Captain Olimar. You've defeated that freakish half-bird, half-serpent hybrid. Oh no, don't tell me. That treasure wasn't in was ingested by that beast, wasn't it? It's a glove. Who's bring it back? The spicy spray lasts for, I think, 30 seconds, roughly? Yeah. That's, that's about right. Man, I gotta say, the the snake rits are some of the most unique and cool enemies in the series, but also some of the most obnoxious to fight. They are not fun. Oh boy, and best treasure in the game right here. <laughs> Man, this just has so much utility. <laughs> the glove is wiggling. The five-man knapsack. <laughs> now it's a sleeping bag for five different people. The fact that it's moving like there's an actual hand inside it is is disconcerting, though. This material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Seam test conclusive. Cross stitching successful. The knapsack is complete. I don't want to sleep in that. It was eaten by a monster. When you have an unoccupied time in interval, press and hold X to take a nap. Yeah, this is by far the best upgrade in the game. <laughs> That's all it does. It has ap it has basically zero practical applications. Although it can be used to quickly get yourself in a small amount of Pikmin back to your base because the Pikmin can pa perhaps carry you back faster than you can walk back. That's pretty unlikely. I think I've actually seen it happen in a speedrun before, but Cool. That's a lot of nectar. There you go, buddy. You ate drank all that nectar for yourself. Yeah, if you're isolated with a small group of whites, they can carry you back faster than you can walk back, but that's gonna be a very rare situation where that happens. Alright, let's escape to the surface with our Pikmin, and I've got a plan. we got a little bit of time left in the day. I want to break down that wall with the white Pikmin and potentially get the next the next big treasure before the day ends. But we're going to need to move fast and multitask. Cool. Still zero Pikmin deaths, because we reset our lunch. Cave complete. Woohoo!